Welcome to the Rochester, New Hampshire History Podcast, a monthly show that will shine a light on a piece of history that has been all but forgotten. In the history books, New Hampshire is remembered as an anti-slavery state and for its role in the American Civil War. The state provided money and supplies to the war effort, and around 20% of its soldiers and sailors were killed in it. Imagine my surprise when looking through old newspapers when I found out that slavery existed in Rochester during colonial times. The June 29, 1866 Rochester Courier printed an article titled Sketches of Town History. The newspaper mentions a local slave named Caesar Wingate. He lived at Judge Wingate's house on Chestnut Hill Road. During the American Revolution, Caesar enrolled in a Rochester company and fought for liberty. After the war was over, Caesar became a free man. The newspaper stated, while our town has to bear the stigma of supporting slaves, one of this much abused race stands enrolled a soldier of the revolution and fought for our independence. The January 23, 1914 Rochester Courier has more information on the subject. It reported that Parson Maine owned a slave named Pomp. This was disappointing news, as Parson Maine is a heroic founding father of Rochester. He was the town's beloved minister in the 1700s. He also served the community as a doctor, lawyer, and advisor. I never thought he was capable of owning another human being. Parson Maine's family is buried in the Haven Hill Cemetery on Rochester Hill. When Pomp passed away, because he was a slave, he could not be buried in the cemetery but was buried just outside of the boundaries of the burial grounds. Another newspaper that had information on local slavery was the March 30th, 1950 Rochester Courier. The headline for that day was, Five Negro Slaves Here in 1767. The five were comprised of three male slaves and two female slaves. The three males were the already mentioned Pomp, Caesar, and one unknown. The two females were Hulda Bickford and one unknown. The article stated by 1773, the number of slaves in Rochester was down to three. The death of the last slave in Rochester occurred in 1783. In the sermon for this last slave, the Reverend Joseph Haven said, everyone who prizes liberty will wish this will be the last African ever held a slave in this place. This ends the podcast. If you have any questions or comments, please email bobgriffinpodcast at gmail.com and come back next month for another episode of Rochester, New Hampshire History.